Welcome to the HobbyInsider.net uh, box break. This is going to be a box break of Star Wars 30th Anniversary uh, trading cards. Um, it's actually the first video I've made for Hobby Insider. It's actually the third video, to be honest with you. The first two videos were far too long and far too big to uh, to fit on any uh, web host here. So I'm going to try to trim this uh, box break down a little bit and um, a little faster than normal. What I've actually done is prepared the, the packs um, to be opened a little easier and a little faster, like I said, uh, we'll try to scoot through this pretty quick. So this is uh, this is the box. It's all uh, sealed up, but uh, we're actually going to go through another box over here. Um, the the boxes come with uh, there's all the packs. See, they're ready opened, they're ready to go. Box come uh, with box topper, which is a really neat card. It's uh, from the original uh, top Star Wars from 1977. A little bit different, of course. It's got the the 30th uh, anniversary foil stamp right there and they all come in plastic and there's one per box right on the top. Uh, the boxes also come with um, it's a 120 card base set. Um, the the base set is fantastic. It's uh, great colors that sort of thing. We'll, we'll kind of scoot through here with two packs a piece. Like I said I've already opened them uh, just with scissors here. I haven't actually looked at the cards yet but we'll, we'll get through them pretty quick. Uh, 120 card base set. Um, generally the base set is black you can see here with the uh, silver foil trim and uh, the 30th anniversary logo. Uh, that's the majority of the cards. They do get into uh, the, the silver around the edge and the blue and the yellow and the green. Uh, just talking about different uh, aspects of the movie, the making of, uh, the special effects, um, uh, and some of the characters uh, just a little deeper. And the backs are also very interesting. They talk about just some of the trivia and uh, interesting things that happened during, uh, during the making of the six movies. So it does cover all six movies. Um, really neat, like I said, uh, really neat cards. Um, they come with uh, parallels as well. These are the silver ones, as I said, with the foil on the bottom. Um, there is blue, there is red, and there is gold. The gold are really hard to find. I think they're numbered out of 30, uh, and there's one parallel for each card. So, And then there's these uh, very interesting uh, puzzle pieces. Um, there's a set of three for each puzzle piece. So uh, this is the bottom one, it's squared off with with the uh, the etched out the middle one has etched out on both sides and the top one actually kind of looks like this um, etched out like that so one in every uh, three packs I believe it is so you'll get a bunch of these they're, they're kind of nice nine different puzzle uh, puzzles to put together so 27 different cards uh, and they're really neat alright just scoot through here a bit more yeah we covered all those um, the cards are really great like I said there's some interesting things. One of the things that uh, they have in here, hopefully we'll find a card or two pretty quick, is um, some parodies of Star Wars um, from film schools, uh, you know, filmmakers, that sort of thing, that kind of had some fun with Star Wars over the years. And uh, they've actually got cards made uh, with some of their films. So, oh, that's very nice. That's a, uh, an autograph card. That is Kenny Baker. That's uh, R2-D2. The funny thing is I just opened a Kenny Baker two boxes ago. But that's cool. That's a great card. Um, the autograph cards are uh, are really hard to come by. Some of them are uh, nearly impossible. Um, the Harrison Ford is uh, one autograph card in 49,000 packs, which is absolutely unreal. That's the cover card. That's the top card in the series, number one. So uh, to get the autographs is very difficult. Um, I believe Carrie Fisher is one in every 9,000 packs. Same with uh, Peter Mayhew or Anthony Daniels, one of those guys. And uh, so, yeah, it's kind of nice to get a nice autograph uh, like that. The autographs also cover off uh, some of the behind-the-scenes guys, the uh, filmmakers, the producers, um, even John Williams, the uh, composer. There's another puzzle card there. And um, it's, uh, it's, it's kind of neat to get uh, behind-the-scenes guys. Um, some people might call them set fillers, but uh, I think it's neat. You know, you get your main camera guy or cinematographer or what have you uh, signing off on, uh, you know, on the movie that uh, he was involved with that uh, became famous around the world. So, um, all right, there's, uh, just flipping through these a little, a little faster than I normally would a box break. Um, there's one of the movies there. There's a, a fan film, which is kind of a takeoff again. Uh, it's called. Uh, it says clever, clever inspirations. So uh, just having some fun with Star Wars and the and the legacy of the of the uh, films over the years. Oh, there's another another puzzle piece. As you can see, this one's the top one. It's etched out at the bottom. 
Alright. Um, they also come with sketch cards, which uh, we probably won't find in, in a box, so uh, at the end here I'll, I'll show you a sketch card. I'll actually show you how the uh, puzzle pieces go together, too. We've got a, a little set over here that uh, we can look at. And um, the sketch cards are, again, very hard to come by. They're all one of ones. Um, a few artists, uh, I, ooh, I think there's 30 different artists that were asked to make sketches of, uh, of different people or scenes in, uh, in Star Wars movies and uh, each of them is sketched individually so uh, it's not a computer generated uh, card or anything like that. There's a middle piece, one of the puzzles. And uh, some of them are fantastic. Uh, different artists, I don't know exactly who these artists are um, but um, and some of them are very hard to find. There's a uh, blue foil. There's the, again the silver. There's the silver versus the blue. And those are two, pretty much two per box um, for the parallel cards. I um, can't remember if I talked about that earlier in the other video, but uh, the parallel cards are uh, blue, red, and gold. Um, so that's pretty neat. And they just parallel the, the base set. Okay, I'm just going to scoot through these. Look like base cards. There's some of the cartoons that came out in the 80s, and uh, that's a holiday special. I remember that in the early 80s. And some other cartoons came out in the 90s and early 2000s as well. There's another middle card, puzzle card. Okay, let's get through these. Let's start doing them three at a time so we're not getting too far along here. Uh, some of the autograph people that are in it, uh, as far as the main characters, um, Anthony Daniels plays the 3PO Kenny Baker, which you saw. Um, Peter Mayhew, he was Chewbacca. Um, David Prowse, who actually played the um, character of Darth Vader in the first few films. There he is. Um, he's uh, he's one of the autograph guys as well. There's another um, puzzle card. This is one of my favorites. This is one of the fan films, um, and this is uh, a parody of George Lucas firing George R. Binks because uh, nobody liked them in the first episode. So, all right, I'll we'll just flip through here a little more. Um, I'm one of those guys that uh, is, is a complete Star Wars fanatic. Uh, as a kid, this was actually the first movie I ever saw in the theater, and uh, it definitely holds a, a special place in my life. And there's a, a red parallel, again, versus the silver. Those are one per, um, pretty much one per box, and uh, that's at least what I've been coming across anyway. And another nice puzzle card. Um, base cards are fantastic. You re really take the time to read them. Um, they, they've just got some great information and great uh, great stories behind the different uh, events, the different movies, uh, different characters. There's um, Alec Guinness, Obi-Wan Kenobi, and uh, how they snagged him into coming into a into basically a brand new filmmaker's movie that uh, had never been done before. And uh, they got an Oscar-winning actor like Alec Guinness to be Ben Kenobi. Instantly gave them some credibility, which is uh, fantastic. And these are the last two packs, so we'll just scoot through here. Um, there's another puzzle card, and you know, we haven't seen a sketch card in this. Oh, there's one of the holiday specials. That's the Muppets. That's uh, Miss Piggy and Kermit, of course. Remember that episode very well. There's another blue, blue insert, and that's it. So uh, let's scoot over here really fast, and we'll get one of the uh, one of the sketch cards now. Again, this is a one of one. This is uh, Boba Fett. I uh, can't really see who the artist's name is here, but you can see at the back, tops one of one. So uh, just really neat sketch cards. Um, again, HobbyInsider.net. Uh, definitely check us out. We are uh, we're on the web, obviously, and uh, great uh, for non-sports, sports, sports um, uh, through the mail, autograph uh, collecting, as well as we're just uh, about to start a new ho uh, comic book forum. So uh, definitely check us out. It's free. Uh, hobbyinsider.net, sign up, and uh, we'll hopefully see you on there. Thanks.